Are we spiritually blind? Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Today's Gospel is the story of a blind man named Bartimaeus, who was healed by our Lord Jesus. Towards the end of the reading, St. Mark wrote a heartwarming dialogue between Jesus and the blind man, and I quote, Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. From Mark chapter 10, 51 to 52. Pope Benedict XVI celebrated the closing Mass of the Synod for the New Evangelization last October 28, 2012. The Gospel for that day was from Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52, the healing of Bartimaeus. And in his homily, the Holy Father then reflected on the need for faith in overcoming spiritual blindness. He noted that Christ curing the blind man Bartimaeus is the last miraculous healing that Jesus performs before his passion. It is no accident that it should be that of a blind person, someone whose eyes have lost the light. Pope Benedict further said that physical blindness has great significance in the Gospels because it represents man who needs God's light, the light of faith, if he is to know reality truly and to walk the path of light. It is essential to acknowledge one's blindness and one's need for this light, otherwise one could remain blind forever. The blind Bartimaeus represents mankind, the Pope went on to say, because he represents man who has lost the light and knows it. But he has not lost hope. He has not lost hope because he knew who Jesus was. Twice he shouted one of the names attributed to the Messiah, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. Today's Gospel invites us to reflect on how a lowly blind beggar knew who Jesus was. And with a light of faith in the presence of the Divine, he, a blind man, saw what the crowds who were following Jesus did not see. And he had complete trust that Jesus could heal him. The words of Jesus, your faith has saved you, emphasize the importance of faith in our walk with the Lord. Jesus did not attribute the healing of Bartimaeus to his positive outlook. Jesus still performed the miracle, yet he marveled at the blind man's face, and it opened the door for God's grace to enter. My dear brothers and sisters, let us come to the Lord as lowly beggars in that posture of lowliness. We shall see God more clearly as He makes us spiritually rich and gifted to see God's light and love. Indeed, God can heal our blindness, but we need to come to Him with humility, faith, and prayer that contemplates His presence in our life. 
And may I conclude with a prayer attributed to St. Ignatius of Loyola, which I also invoked a few weeks ago. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, let me see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.